All slower cars were told in the driver's meeting this morning to pull to the inside and not hinder the performance of the lead lap race cars, especially when you're battling for the lead. And right now, there's Eckes and Chandler Smith. The white flag is in the air, Jim. To turn one, this is Smith's best chance. Now he goes down oh, and no. the wall. Chandler Smith hard into the wall. Trouble for the 15-year-old battling for the win here at Salem today. Christian Eckes. For the second consecutive race, we'll have a first-time race winner here in the Arca Racing Series. Eckes from New York takes the win. Kevin Reed, the crew chief down there with Mama Venturini. All sorts of hugs down there, Kathy. Just exuberation down there for this team. But just, just a heartfelt disappointment for Chandler Smith. He gave it his all, pushed the car going into the corner. And that wall on that 33 degree banking reached out and bit him. He had to change his line. He had to do something different to get around Eckes. He chose the outside, or perhaps the tire was going down into turn one at that moment, giving every ounce. Kevin Reed, always <laughs> emotional after victories. I'm telling you what, Chandler Smith put on a show this full house at Salem. Got a great show here today. A nice slow pace for Christian Eckes. It paid off for him. Last restart. Let's find out what happens this time. How about that? The 17-year-old with a nice, smooth restart. CV's there, but this may be exactly what the doctor ordered for Christian Eckes, because here comes Sheldon Creed trying to get into second on the inside. Just a little bit of nudge on corner exit with the cars, as free as it can be. The 20 car of CV has to fall in line and give up the spot to the 28 of Creed. Sheldon Creed now has one lap to go to catch and try to pass Christian Eckes to get the win. He's come close here. The last two years, has he run out of time? He'll have to make a move going to turn three if he has any chance, and Eckes has a big enough gap off the exit of two here. Reed is catching him, but will it be enough time? They head into turn number three. Creed sailed in there for all it's worth. I tell you, there's not much breaking going on there. He ain't going to do it. He's not going to do it unless Christian Eckes slips up. It doesn't look like he's going to. He never thought he was a dirt racer. And today, Christian Eckes wins on the dirt here at Springfield. Second career win. Second this year for the JBL Venturini Motorsports team of Christian Eckes. How about that? The kid from New York with another victory. And I can't wait to see that smile. It'll be a mile wide in victory lane today. If he had any nerves this morning, he was, certainly was masking them <laughs> because he was just saying, I'm chilling, I'm working on my deal. Really laid back. Great win for Eckes. Respect each other highly. And Eckes is proving here at this racetrack with so many historical wins by different drivers. He belongs in this series. He belongs in any series he gets funded to go race in. Sheldon Creed, though, has nothing to be disappointed about. Uh, he fell out of the top five, battled back, currently running in second. This time by one lap to go for Christian Eckes. Into turn one like it's lap five on fresh tires, man. This car has not been wrong at all tonight. He was as far back as six with a long first pit stop to make an adjustment in the right rear suspension. That paid off. The four-tire stop came out second, lost the lead for just a bit, passed Chase Purdy back, and has not looked back, Bob. Christian Eckes makes it look easy. Now a hat trick of wins this season for that young driver out of Middletown, New York. Great run by the team. We see Kathy Venturini, the matriarch of the team, up on the pit box of the 15, helping celebrate with the crew. Great effort by Kevin Reed. Man, six wins on this season with three different drivers. He's going to be dancing with those JBL headsets on here tonight to the sweet sounds of victory at Lucas Oil Race. One third of the way through, it has yet to be headed. Held the lead through pit stops. Last time I saw this dominant, last year at Lucas Oil Raceway on the short tracks where he led 179 of 200 laps. <laughs> so when he's good, he's really good. Coming by this time, it'll be the white flag in the air for Christian Eckes. Only has to hold on one more lap for his first victory of the season. A great boost for this team. Eckes is going to be it. He's still not out of the championship hunt. We saw Michael Self in four races go from 31st in points to the lead. There's a lot of movement yet to come. Five points per position. Eckes making up a ton today on Michael Self and on Travis Brayton. Brayton's hanging on an eighth, but that's a big points jump. 
for Christian Eckes to get the win here at Nashville. Three wins last year, scores its first triumph of the season in the Arkham Menard Series. The JBL audio team for Christian Eckes with Venturini Motorsports gets the victory here. He wanted some Nashville magic. He's got it here today. I love the fact they give away a, gu a guitar here each and every victory. That's a trophy that is yet to be in the Venturini trophy case. It is now. And that's coming up right after us. All three of the weather pending. Right now running up in the top six. Austin Wayne self having another solid run back in the sixth spot. Now working lap 59. Two laps to go. And with only three corners, I got to do math. I'm not going to worry about that. Normally you could say under eight corners to go. What turn four? They don't have one. That's something that does <laughs> need to be said a little bit more when it comes to Pocono. What turn four? I'll tell you what, Christian Eckes is hoping turn four is the one that takes him to victory lane. He can say that here. We are coming to the white flag. Christian Eckes through turn three now. Rafael Sart in front of him be an opportunity to lap up to fourth. That's how strong he has been. And there is that white flag. 2.5 miles to go with a 12.8 second lead. But it's not over till it's over. Remember in the Arkham Menard series, if the caution flag were to come out on this lap, we would have a one lap shootout. So Christian Eckes has to hold his breath for about 30 more seconds, I think. He was the point leader after the first two races. That's when troubles set in, but a win in Nashville gave this team the momentum it needed. And now Christian Eckes is a couple of corners away from getting his second win of 2019. And really fight his way back into this play, uh, championship battle as well. Michael Self, meanwhile, continues to race on the lead lap. But this race belongs to Christian Eckes. His fifth win in 41 starts. He has won the Pennsylvania 150 to get back in the championship race. That's his dad. Left side of your screen, George Eckes. What a nice job by Christian and that entire Venturini Motorsports team. This is this year. An impressive run by Seth. All of his top five finishes you know, have been top his top tens yeah. as well. When he's had a bad run, honestly, he's had a definite bad run. Christian Eckes missed that race at Salem. Otherwise, he'd be right there, neck and neck with Michael Self in the battle for the championship. And like true racers, they're dwelling on the races they didn't win. This is a chance for Eckes to get back on the box, get some points. Again, every position's five points. Michael Self didn't lead a lot tonight. The 15 of Christian Eckes is gonna lead the most and get five more points as he comes to a very important flag. White flag in the air for Christian Eckes, the teenager out of New York trying to win again here in the Arca Menard Series. Logan Seavey doing all he can to close in. Uh, I think Seavey's going to really try hard here turn number two. Closes a little bit here, but I don't think he can do anything besides follow the tire tracks of Eckes. He's going to hope for Eckes to make a blunder here in turn number three, but the turn in is right on the dot. You see the nose just wiggle a bit on Eckes' car on entry. Logan Seavey, he's not going to do it. Score a hat trick of victories for Christian Eckes this year. His third victory of 2019 comes right here at DeCoin. Oh, second, amazingly enough, Corey Heim hung on to third. I say amazing because this kid's been good everywhere. He raises top four in Pocono, third place here on the dirt track at DeCoin. The team celebrates down there on pit road and uh, Let's just call Christian Eckes a dirt track specialist now. Two wins between last year at Springfield and this year here at DeCoin. Batting 500, not bad. <laughs> two wins in four races. To now have only two laps to go. Self got the fence, I think, a little bit possibly. It looked like it. Giving it his all for sure. A real fast lap that last lap for Michael Self. He gained about three and a half tenths, but... He's begging for a yellow right now. A little bit over a lap left for Christian Nickus. Man who won at Nashville, led the most laps. One at the Tricky Triangle in Pocono. One on the DeCoin Dirt Mile. 
He's now in the final lap. A championship in his grasp. Just needs to stay green here for another half a lap. Down the backstretch into turn three clean. And at this point, it's over. The 36th champion in the history of the Arkham Menard Series. And the race winner, the Kansas 150, is Christian Eckes. Kevin Reed, a man who has no problem showing his emotions, especially when the race is over and he's won. He has taken Christian and that entire team to the championship. Boy, it's nice to come in here, though, with uh, knowing that if you're the Venturini's, that one of your guys is going to win this championship, you're going to be happy either way. They, they, I mean, they put on a great show all the way to the last lap, and the Sark Menard series I mean, was great.